There's a, there's a lady who's driving through Alabama. I'm done right here, I promise. There's a lady who's driving through Alabama. She got pulled over and got a speeding ticket. And uh, she had to go to court because she couldn't afford it. And she had two kids. And she went in front of the judge and she said, Your Honor, I can't pay the ticket. And the judge says, Ma'am, you broke the law. And justice requires a penalty. And, and she said, Your Honor, I wasn't hoping for justice. I was hoping for mercy. She said, I have two kids. I'm a single mom. I can't lose my kids to DCF. I can't go to jail. She said, Your Honor, I, I was hoping for mercy. Can, can you give me some mercy? And the judge said, Ma'am, you broke the law. And justice requires a penalty. And she said, Please, Your Honor, I don't have $100. And this really happened. The judge got off of his bench and unzipped his robe. He hung his robe up. Walked down off of his bench, put his coat on, pulled his pocketbook out, and laid $100 on the bench. Walked back around, zipped his robe back up, sat down, slapped his javelin, and said, You're guilty, but I see your fine's been paid. If you'll accept the payment, you can go now. Let me explain something real fast. What Jesus did, he took off a robe of divinity. He put on a robe of humanity. He came down here, opened his arms up. Shut your phone off. He opened his arms up. No, I'm not. He opened his arms up, died on the cross for your sins. Who's this? Take this phone. Find out who that is. Died on the cross for your sins. He, 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 he rose from the grave, ascended back up into heaven, put his robe back on, and he said, Chrissy, Tanya, Tiffany, Josh, Tommy, you're guilty of sin. The penalty is death and hell. But I see your fine's been paid. If you'll accept the payment, you can go now. God doesn't know a sin he doesn't hate. God doesn't know a sinner he doesn't love. God doesn't know another way to God, through, to heaven, except through his son. And the last thing I'm done. And God doesn't know a better day to accept him, accept what Jesus has already paid, than today. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. God wants to help your situation. He wants to help your family. He wants to help your children. He wants to help my children. But you have first got to take that first step and say, God, I'm trusting you to help me in every situation. I am trusting. Hey, I told me and Tanya talk a lot. Me and Chrissy used to talk a lot. She stopped calling me. But she, listen, she said, Tanya, she stopped calling you too? You got to tighten up, girl. Hey, listen, God, God said like, it's like this. If you'll take that first step and say, God, I'm trusting you. I told her the other day on the phone, I said, uh, I said, I love what y'all are doing with Split in Two. Phenomenal job. They work like it all depends on them. And listen, they pray like it all depends on God. These things get done. And it's in God's time. I said earlier, I said, when God steps back to throw that pass, he calls the play. All we can do is just run, run the pattern. If we're not there when the pass comes, it's our fault for dropping the pass. You can run as fast as you want. Try to get this done as fast as you can. But if you don't trust God for his timing, you're going to miss the pass. Just run your pattern. Listen, doesn't know a sin he doesn't hate. Doesn't know a sinner he doesn't love. Doesn't know a better uh, way into heaven except through Jesus. And he doesn't know a better day of salvation than, than today. He doesn't know a better day to accept what he's done and a better time. And say, how, how, how would you like that? At the D.C. Festival 2008, in front of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., you made a decision to trust God in every aspect in your life. How would you like that? For all of eternity, you'll be known as the guy that trusted Jesus and what he did in the Capitol on that day for the D.C. Festival 2008. Listen, I'm all done. I know they got other speakers and I'm all done. But I want you to make this decision for yourself. If you can trust God, Work like it depends on you. And trust God to help your family. Trust God to help your precious baby girl. Trust God for your situation, for your life, and for your soul. And that's what you need to do. And I'm all finished now. So.